Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMic.com, and today we're going to show you how to set up Ubuntu in a virtual machine. Uh, so what we have here is the uh, <clears throat> final step. Uh, I want to show this first because the virtual machine does take quite a while to start up, and so it just finally got here. So at the end, and once you launch your virtual machine, uh, you'll be able to try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Uh, so just keep that in mind, whichever one you'd like to do, but uh, I'd recommend installing it because it's a lot faster than just the Try Ubuntu button. So with that out of the way, uh, power off the machine. Uh, I guess remove it. And then the first step to setting up your virtual machine is uh, go into your web browser, head to virtualbox.org, download the latest version and install it. And you'll also want to go to ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop and download the latest ISO for it. Uh, and once that's all set up, you'll want to open VirtualBox. Uh, and and uh, setting up a virtual machine in it is fairly simple and doesn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, the most time consuming thing is waiting for it to power up. Uh, so first what you'll want to do is press new type in a name for your virtual machine we'll just call it Ubuntu OS and as you can see it kinda auto fills these other uh, fields based on the uh, name you have but you can choose uh, the different operating systems as well as different versions for them so uh, we're choosing Ubuntu 64-bit but you can also choose Red Hat and all of that uh, so once you've picked your choice out Press next, then you'll want to allocate memory to the virtual machine. Uh, usually it's good to just, you can just go with the recommend memory size, but if you're doing any heavy, heavy lifting with the virtual machine, you can add some more to it. Uh, once you've decided your RAM size to allocate, just press next, and then you want to create a, uh, I guess a virtual hard drive for the virtual machine. Uh, obviously if this is your first time setting it up you'll want to select the create a virtual hard disk now option and press create uh, leave this as default you also want to leave this at its default and then here you can allocate the amount of storage to that virtual hard disk uh, they recommend is eight gigabytes but again, if you're doing any heavy lifting with it, you'll want to add a considerable considerable amount more. Uh, once you've chosen how much, just press create. And then your virtual machine is almost ready to go. Uh, the last step is um, mounting that ISO to the virtual machine. So you'll want to select the virtual machine, go into settings, and you'll have this tab pop up. Next, you'll want to go down to the storage panel, uh, store tab on the left panel here. And then under controller IDE, you'll want to click on this little disk image that says adds optical drive. So select that. Click on choose disk. And then select your ISO. Okay, in this case here, we have it on our desktop. And we'll just add that really quickly. And then press OK. And then you're ready to go. All you have to do is press start and it'll start booting up. It does take quite a bit of time. Um, it all depends on how much RAM you've added to the virtual machine, how much storage space, uh, as well as your own system specifications. But uh, you can see it already booting up here. But uh, uh, the end result is what you'll what we uh, showed in the beginning of the video is the uh, uh, the option to install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu. Uh, once it gets there, uh, you can just click try Ubuntu, see if you like it. Um, it's going to be very slow once you start it because uh, installing it is just a lot better. But that does take a lot of time, so if you just want to demo it, that try Ubuntu option is the best there. And it's already going, actually. So um, that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's a similar process for other operating systems. You just want to grab an ISO. Uh, in some cases, you can 
uh, get a uh, disc with the files on it too. Uh, but that's another story. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, for a more detailed article, you can head on over to PCMag.com. Uh, we posted it this morning. Uh, you can also find more great videos over on our YouTube channel. Uh, we recently did one on a new operating system called Vivaldi. Uh, it's really great. You might want to check it out. Again, I've been Brad with PCMag.com, and we'll see you next time.